we're going to try this setup. Um, it's my first time using this kind of camera arm. So, but I did get a Diamond Art Club shipment today. And um, I wanted to try to film an unboxing and see how it goes. So, this is my first time with the camera arm. Uh, just got it in the mail today. Kind of wanted to see how it would work. Uh, it's kind of at an angle here on my counter, so I may have to try to find a better setup, but let's just see how it goes. Um, I believe I know what's in this box. When I first started um, diamond painting, I actually just started diamond painting back in like November, so it's literally been just a couple months. But when I stumbled upon Diamond Art Club, there was a particular painting I really, really loved, but it was out of stock. Um, it coincides with another one of my hobbies. And I thought, oh my God, that is so cute. Um, but it was out of stock. So it was just recently restocked. And this should be it. I also ordered pins and tips. Not sure. Uh, they're not in this box. So those may be in my mailbox. But this was on my porch. And yes, this is it, guys. Okay. I got Threads of the Universe. I have been dying. Okay. Very hard to get oriented this camera but threads of the universe this is a square kit and I also really love to crochet hello Nala thank you for your help here um I really really love to crochet as well I know that she's knitting you know um close enough you know what I mean close enough so oh my god can't wait to see what she looks like let's get her open and I will try my best to keep this straight in the camera. Like I said, this camera is kind of mounted at an angle here. Uh, so if I put this straight on the counter, it's going to be at an angle in the camera. So I'll try my best. Like I said, this is my first time. So we will see. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait to see what this looks like. We will go through the toolkit um, just because... I haven't made a video yet, so this is the toolkit you get with Diamond Art Club. It comes in a reusable or and or recyclable paper bag. Since this is a square kit, it will come with a pair of tweezers. The round kits do not come with tweezers. Um, let's see. Ooh. All right. So you get a couple multi-placers, a four and a seven placer. You get a pen with a matching squishy. Um, the color of these will vary, but your squishy will always match your pen. Yellow, I haven't gotten yet, and it happens to be my favorite color, so I'm excited about this. I also wanted to give you guys a little tip. I see a lot of people struggling to get these squishies on in their videos, and they just give up. If you get this pen just wet a little bit, um, like get your fingers wet, um, and just rub a little bit of water on it, which I will do now. Give me one second. So now the pen is a little wet and this squishy, once it's just a little wet, like slides right on. Uh, it's a lot easier to get on and off and it's not like it just moves around. It really stays put, but getting the pen wet really helps to get that squishy on. Just a tip. Um, my tweezers, Diamond Art Club branded black tweezers. I have yet to get a pink pair. I don't know if they put those in special kits, but a bag of baggies, which I typically don't use these and I have so many baggies now and I don't know what to do with them. I hate to throw them out. I feel like I'm going to find a use for them and then be like, oh crap, I got rid of all those baggies. <laughs> so I just keep them in my little storage thing. You do get a container of heart shaped wax and you get two um, pads of wax in here. And there is a clear film on both sides. Just peel back one side of the clear film here. If I can get a hold of it. Maybe, maybe not. <coughs> oh, no, no. Uh, clear, peel back one side before stabbing your pin into that wax. Otherwise, you won't get any wax in your pin. And you'll be wondering what the heck is going on. This just helps keep it fresh, this cute little case. You do get a roll of washi tape. The... Design will vary from kit to kit. I have gotten this one before, but it is very pretty. This is actually the one that's in the bottom of my trays right now. So cute little floral green print. And you will get a cover minder. This is a cute little magnet that uh, you slide off one magnet, put it under your canvas, put this on top of your canvas, and that magnet will 
hold back the plastic while you're working. Uh, I know that they are phasing these out. I got a cute little glittery purple shell. I do have a black shell, glittery black shell, but I have not gotten a purple one before. So um, that is the toolkit. They are phasing out those cover minders. They are replacing them with um, the perforated plastic on the canvases, which since this is a newer restocked kit, I imagine that it will have the perforated plastic on it, but we will see. So you've got your box here, the blue branding and the square on the front lets you know that it is a square diamond kit. It also says square diamonds. You've got a thumbnail picture of what is inside with the measurements and the artist. This is a 22 by 30 inch or 55.8 by 76 centimeter canvas. And the artist is Scott Howden. Oh my gosh. Ooh, she's big. Okay. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I just get so excited. You do get a little sticker as well. Um, it's just another, another uh, picture of the canvas and its stats. You can use this in your logbook. You can use this. Some people keep their drills separate and they'll stick this to the drills um, so they know what goes with what canvas quickly. Your drills are labeled with the name of your painting though. So however you like to use this little sticker, some people put it on their box. If you store your canvases in the box, it fits here on the end really well. Um, so you can kind of see what's in your boxes from the end of the box, however you like to use this. But you do get a little sticker. There's a larger sticker sheet inside this dust cover with the canvas. All right, Diamond Art Club's canvases are very soft on the back. Um, they are a nice, thicker, sturdier canvas. Not so that it's not pliable, but it is a thicker material. And this is, I can already tell, the perforated plastic. So we're going to roll this beautiful canvas backwards here to help it lay flat. Look at those pretty colors we're seeing already. OMG. Oh, these are like beautiful pastels. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, she's out there barking. Oh my God. It has a lot of colors. I saw this little thing and I was like, what? Um, it's because you get two sticker sheets with this one. It has 83 colors. Wow. Wow. Wubsy. Okay. Um, 83 colors. So if you pass the max sticker, which is 67, they give you two sticker sheets. This entire thing is a sticker. So what I do is I slice off these stickers and I put this in my sticker, uh, in my diamond painting journal when I start it. It's got the start date and end date here. And then to the side, I put the stats of like things I liked about the kit, things I didn't like about the kit. Um, just little notes. So anything under 150 on their sticker sheet is going to be an AB drill. So it looks like we have one, two, three, four ABs, a green, pink, peach, and white. And then we also have one light blue fairy dust. So look at that beautiful image. Oh my God, she's gorgeous. All right. Shall we look at the canvas? This is what you all are waiting for. Whoa, oh my God. Oh my God, I can't even fit the whole thing in here. One, uh, I'm trying to make it straight. There we go. So there's the top. We'll have to do a little pan by because I can't fit it all in. And I am zoomed out uh, as much as I can be zoomed out. So, um, oh my God, these colors, you guys are a dream. Look at these colors. <gasps> Those are so flipping pretty. Ooh, there's those light green ABs in there. We will go through the drills um, just because it's my first video and I want to try to hit all the basics. I love that Diamond Art Club's canvases are actually glittery. Like the glue is glittery. The canvas is glittery. I think that's so pretty. Not that it makes a difference when it's done because this is all going to be covered up with drills, but it's just still pretty when you open it. So at the top of the canvas, you have their um, little logo, Do What Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. You have a legend with the serial number, the symbols, and the DMC codes. I'll get a little closer so you can kind of see how that looks. And you have it on the left side and on the right side. Both sides of the canvas. At the bottom here, you have information about the art, the artist, the size, same as your little thumbnail on the box and you have their um, 
What is that? It's stuck under the plastic. Okay, and you have their uh, social media information here, and then anything you buy through Diamond Art Club, as long as you're the original purchaser, is covered under a lifetime warranty. So if you don't get enough drills, if you spill your drills and you need more, um, you email this email, and they are very quick to respond. Their customer service is honestly top-notch. So, God, this is stunning. I can't quit looking at it. So we're going to do a quick little little pan here. Look at her yarn hair. And you can't tell so much from the canvas, but these planets, when they're done, look like they've been knitted or crocheted. She's wearing a cute little knitted sweater, and she's sitting here knitting a beautiful piece. I literally couldn't love this more. I Like I said, I don't knit. I do crochet, but my love for yarn is as strong as my love for diamond painting. I literally buy yarn every time I go to the store. So this yarn hair is too freaking much to die for. I literally love it. Look at her face, how beautifully it's rendered. Like, look at this face. Oh, I want to bring you up closer just so you can see the drill field. Very clear symbols. I love their drill fields. The symbols are so clear. There is a small square outline around where you should be placing your drills. So that helps keep everything really straight. I just love, love, love Diamond Art Club. Um, like I said, I started diamond painting in November. I started buying Diamond Art Club canvases in December. Before the end of the year, I was already a Diamond member, which means I spent over $500. I'm not bragging about that. I'm saying I have a problem. Um, and I probably, I don't have a huge stash, obviously I just started, but, um, I probably have like 14 or 15 now, and I'm waiting on one more to come in the mail. So let's crack these drills open and, um, see what's inside. These colors are gorgeous. Look at that light pink AB right on top. Dang, they're so pretty. We'll crack them open. I'm going to pause. I absolutely hate the sound of these plastic bags opening on a stream. So I'm going to pause and I'll be right back. Okay, we are back and I want to show you these are labeled with the name of the art. This is the plastic bag the drills came in. So if you do store your drills separate, it is labeled with the name of the art. If you place them back in that bag, look at these colors. I, I cannot guys, guys, guys. Oh, M, G. These colors are stunning. <gasps> Look at this peachy pink, AB. Lord, save me. Lord, save me. Oh, my God. Okay, this color palette is gorge. Let's go through it. I'm not going to read off the numbers. I will just go through the palette. Um... These don't look super true to color. These are more of a peach. They look kind of orange on here, but two bags of that one. Ooh, that mint green is really pretty. And I will stop at the special drills and we will see where they go. So 128 is our first AB we're coming to. It's that pinky, peachy, more peachy than pink. Peach AB. Look at that shine. Our second AB is going to be the white. AB. I feel like almost every canvas has a white AB in it now. So pretty prevalent AB, that white one. Here's our little tiny bits of color. The ones that you think, uh, why, how are, look at this one. It's literally empty. It has two drills in it. Um, I'm going to have to call customer support because I highly doubt I only needed three drills in there. Uh, I, I doubt that. <laughs> I'm going to call and let him know that that bag was uh, empty. I'll have to see if it had a tear in it or something. I don't see any loose drills really laying around uh, in the bag or anything, but I just have a hard time believing that I only needed three of those drills, considering they send you... Ooh, look, barely any 310. Love that. Uh, considering they send you 20% extra for your drills... I doubt I only needed three. 
I'm trying to kind of scan for that fairy dust as well. Ooh, these are very close in color. Those almost look identical, but they are different. Um, they're different numbers, but I'm telling you, those look exactly the same to me. But, okay then. I cut my fingers. I got like, see it right across? Little cuts from these drills. I slid the plastic around my finger in a weird way. Okay. That's a pretty like powder blue. Very pretty purple. Oh, here's our fairy dust. Oh wow, two bags of it. Let's see if you can see on here. Can you see that little sheen on the ones facing upright, like in this area? There's like a little silvery, glittery sheen to these fairy dust. It's very subtle. Um, it's very subtle. And I actually really love fairy dust. It's more subtle than the ABs, but it's still very stunning in the picture. It has a very pretty effect. Lots of this light blue, lots of that light blue. And here, a ton of that 124. This is the light pink AB. Has almost an orange shine to it. Very pretty. And the last train of diamonds. 122. This is our light green AB. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I love the ABs. Some people don't like them. They're like, oh, it's too much. I think it's gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna get these drills back in the bag and then we'll come back and look at where these ABs go. One moment. Okay, we got them back in the bag pretty decently. And again, it's labeled with the name of the canvas. So I, will, I always store them separately. I don't have a lot of storage in my house. So I store my canvases hanging up in a closet on clip hangers. But we got our special drills here. Um... So let's start with symbol number one, which is the pretty green AB, which is, like I said, number one in the symbols. It looks like it's gonna highlight the green yarn, kind of through this green yarn, anywhere you see a highlight around here, um, a little bit here, some on the edge of this planet down here. And I'm trying to see, I don't see any in her sweater some around this little ring in this planet here. So some of the highlighted greens. Next we have symbol number two, which is the pretty pink, very pretty sparkle of pink. Number two is the symbol. So it looks like a little bit of highlight here in her hair, um, more little strips of highlight in the hair here, a little bit up here in this ball of yarn. Uh, quite a bit in this planet, all this light pink that you see up here in that planet. Some around these orbs of light. Um, let's see, a little bit in this planet here. Some down here in the swirl of her knitted work, in her fingernails. A um, little bit in this planet, in this strip of pink. So I would say, let me look, yeah, a whole bunch up here in this swirl, all this light pink up here is this pink AB. Next we have symbol number three, which is the 128. It's like a peachy, peachy vibe, peachy AB. Number three on the canvas, which is a little bit in the, this planet here. A um, little bit in this little swirl here. A little bit up in this planet. Um, some also in this little swirl here. And that looks like about it. And there's some up in this big galaxy looking swirl up here. Next we have 141, which is our classic white AB and its symbol is a white dot. Okay, so you're looking at this white, um, the white AB. We're looking at the outline here of her outfit, all these white stripes in her outfit on both sides of her little shoulder pads, on her knitting needle, 
You can see this white on the knitting needle. The stars in the background are YAB. A um, little bit in her little yarn hair. Not much. All the stars that you see in the background up here at the top, up here, these stars, those are all white ABs. And then the big bags of the light blue fairy dust, which these are so kind of hard to see on camera, but there's just a glittery sheen. It's really hard to pick up. I don't know if you can notice it. But there's like a light blue silvery sheen of glitter on there. This is symbol P, capital P. So we've got a little highlight here in her outfit. Another matching one over here. We've got a big chunk in this planet here. We have um, some in her outfit highlighting here along this edge. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any in her hair. A little bit in this planet here, this little uh, blue stripe, that's peas. I don't see, I'm gonna kind of roll it as I go. Um, hmm, a little bit, yeah, in the highlights of her yarn hair here, a little bit in this one through here. Um, That looks pretty close to it. A little bit highlighting this galaxy area. But it's kind of just sprinkled throughout this big area here. That's right where the glare is, sorry. This light blue area here is the fairy dust. But overall, this is absolutely gorgeous. I'll do a little pan over for you guys. And um, we will end it on that. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I, like I said, have a few in my stash if you guys would like me to go through my stash sometime. And I will try in the future to record unboxings as I get them. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Um, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell to get alerts when I update, uh, upload videos. And I will try to keep you updated on my diamond painting journey. So I'll say bye and we'll close it out with a pan over.